Hello, all of my beautiful friends out there in YouTube land. So today, guys, I got a lot of stuff going on. I don't have a lot of time to do anything in the yard today, but I do want to do a quick garden update because I gotta get out here and get some things harvested. I gotta squash the size of my forearm, it's nuts. But the good news is I got some more zucchinis coming on. That's good. Look at that, you guys. That is gonna be a mess of squash here in a few more days. Got several tomatoes starting to turn a little red. A couple of them I'm gonna go ahead and pick because I'm so scared these bugs are gonna have their way with them. Here's what we got today. We got five tomatoes getting red. We'll take them inside so they don't get eat by bugs. And look at the size of the squash. It's as big as my forearm. <laughs> look at the size of this squash. I did not mean to let it get that big, but I just haven't been able to get out here in the last two days, and this thing exploded. Look, it's bigger, it's bigger than my forearm. This could hurt somebody. So we have gone from the extreme opposite end of the spectrum to the other. It was super dry for like eight weeks, zero rain, and now it is raining every day. And things are exploding, but I'm thinking maybe the extra water is actually hurting those pepper plants. I don't know. But the one thing it ain't hurting, that's my pumpkins. So here's my pumpkin plants, and I know I got them all in there close. Well, hello, Dirty Pumpkin. That's actually, actually the funny thing about it is his name is Dirty Pumpkin. That's Dirty Pumpkin, and those are my and those are my clean pumpkins. <laughs> all right, this is a sweet potato bed. It is thick and full. I'm gonna have a mess of sweet potatoes. Anybody want some sweet potatoes? This is our kumquat tree. This one is doing really good. I mean, this thing is loaded down with kumquats. That's gonna be fun later on this summer. So that's my little quick garden update for the day. I'm about to harvest me some rabbit food because we ran out of pellets, but that's okay because they like the weeds. Fortunately, I got this little patch back here that's hard for me to get to with the mower, so I don't. <laughs> I'm gonna whack a bunch of this grass and weeds down and I'm gonna pick it up and feed it to my rabbits. And that brings me to something else I've been meaning to talk to you guys about. Um, I've had a lot of questions about my rabbits from a lot of you subscribers and viewers. And I'm going to spend some time here in the near future and go in uh, in more detail about my rabbits, what I've learned over the last couple of years of raising rabbits, how we raise them, how we do our breeding and our uh, dispatching and our preserving and things like that. <clears throat> so, so keep your eyes open for that. That's going to be a lot of fun. But just real quick, guys, um, I tell you what, I cannot preach rabbits enough. Um, you know, there is a lot of really cool things about homesteading and being self-sufficient and uh, and living off of your own land but I gotta t I gotta tell you guys if you're not a vegetarian if you like to eat meat then rabbits are the way to go chickens are awesome and they have so many benefits that rabbits don't have when it comes to um, them tilling your ground for you them providing you with eggs but that being said I believe rabbits are essential for the homesteader. If you're willing to raise a chicken and butcher it for meat, then you surely should be investing some time and effort into rabbits. And here's why. Rabbit meat is the best meat for you. It's the cleanest meat, the lowest in cholesterol, and it has the highest amount of protein per ounce than any other meat out there. Also, rabbits are much easier, in my opinion, to keep than chickens. I can easily keep rabbits 100% off of what grows on my property because all they eat are weeds and grasses. 
They don't need grains, they don't need bugs, they don't need any kind of animal protein at all. They don't need grit for their bellies and things like that. So with chickens, you really got to watch and you really got to make sure that they're getting everything they need. But rabbits are so much easier. You just throw grass and weeds in there and they're going to get everything they need. Also, when it comes to dispatch and cleaning, whew, feathers are a mess, right? And you're not going to keep those feathers and make any cool crafts or make any other use out of them. You're not going to keep a chicken skin and do anything with it. But a rabbit, you skin it, it's clean, it's very little mess, and then you have an awesome soft fur hide to preserve and use for other purposes. So on a day like today, when my kids tell me, oh dad, we ran out of rabbit food today, and the feed store is already closed, well, what do you do? You go in the backyard and pick some grass and feed them grass and weeds. And think about this. If you invest in meat chickens, you're gonna spend extra money to get that special breed that is ready to go in eight weeks. Every single rabbit breed is ready to go in eight weeks. You keep that feed bowl full of pellets or grass and weeds, eight weeks, you're gonna be ready to harvest and eat. And not to mention that their waste, their pellets and their urine, make an excellent compost as well. It may take a little longer than the chicken poo, for the rabbit poo to break down and to turn into really nutritious compost that's really actively feeding your soil, but it's still gonna do it, and it's still gonna do it fairly quickly. If you haven't seen my black gold video, go back a couple of weeks to the, uh, a video called Black Gold, and you will see me harvesting the compost out of my rabbit pens and putting that stuff directly on my garden, and then you can also see exactly what is happening in my garden good stuff this go this garden bed here has had a year's worth of rabbit manure uh, put into it this sweet potato bed over here has had about uh, three years worth of uh, rabbit manure compost being uh, spread over the top of it every time I clean out the rabbit pens I just I just spread it out on top so those are just a few quick facts about rabbits that I wanted everybody to know. I really think you should think twice about keeping rabbits. Super easy keepers, super easy to feed, super easy to clean and process if you want to harvest them for meat. And let's face it, it's much funner to hold and pet and play with a rabbit than it is with a chicken. So if you got kids, they're gonna love them. Okay, so that's going to be it for today, guys. Super quick update on the gar garden. My little spiel about keeping rabbits and why I think you should keep some. And uh, I'm going to get back inside, get back to doing the things I need to do inside the house. And I just want you all to know that I love you guys. Y'all are awesome. God in heaven loves you more than you will ever know. And the coolest part is, if you ever want to get to know him, just ask him. All right, you guys, until I see you again tomorrow... Have a great day. Bye-bye.